Hi everybody, welcome back to Lions Vision Productions. As you know by now, I'm the founder, Latia McNeely Sanderford. Today I'll be introducing you to one of my basic success models, the 4A model for self-assessment. This model is included in my new book, Road to Wholeness, the Success Strategies Manual, or SSM1. While the book is in production, I'll be sharing some of my success models with you to help you travel your road to wholeness. Do me a favor, take a moment to just reflect on your life. Have you ever wanted to make change but didn't know where to start? Or maybe you have certain feelings about different people, places, or things in your life, but aren't sure why those feelings are. Or are you just stuck? Same people, same places, same process, and no progress. If you aren't in one of these situations, we all know someone who is or who has been, right? Well, my 4A model for self-assessment is just what you need to come to terms with who you are, make changes, and begin your path to wholeness. After you've completed this assessment, then you'll be in a better position to uncover your talents, figure out what makes you happy, and find your purpose. So are you ready? Do you have a pen? Okay, then let's go. The first step in my 4A model for self-assessment is ask. This is where you start asking yourself those hard questions that you've somehow avoided. Am I right with my higher power? Am I where I should be in my life? Have I accomplished what I plan to accomplish by now? Is my money right? Are my relationships fulfilling, supportive, and progressive? Am I being honest with those closest to me? Has my upbringing hindered my life's progress? Lastly, am I holding negative feelings towards someone? These are all the things that usually keep us stagnant and bound. When we aren't prospering, usually it's because we're lacking in one or more of these areas. I call this the truth step because this step will allow you to unlock the truth about your life, what it is and what it has been. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's continue on. Now that you've asked yourself the hard questions, it's time to get honest and answer those questions. This is the part of the process where you strip yourself naked. There's no need for facades. Step two, answers. Answers the hard questions in the most organic form. Even if you've avoided this your whole life, this is where you leave it all on the table. Listen, I'm here to tell you that until you break through this process, it's going to be extremely difficult for you to see change in your life. Why? Because our life ex choices are usually based on experiences, both past and present, relationships with others, and our perception of reality, right? And also to what we have grown accustomed to and accepted as our norm. However, the problem is that all of these things are affected by our own truth. So if you aren't being honest with yourself, you will never get to your rightful place. Once we're honest with ourselves, then we're in a real space and we can begin to move on. Which brings us to the next step, the acknowledgement step. Now that you've asked yourself the hard questions, given yourself honest answers, it's time to come to acknowledge that Things are what they are, and it's okay. You don't have to be bound by your truth. None of us have lived lives free of mistakes, misfortunes, mistrust, mismanagement, and all of those other miscellaneous. The facts are that there's no reason to be bound in shame, guilt, or any of that stuff. For many of us, the things that have had the greatest impact in our lives, we have had absolutely no control over. So do yourself a favor and let it go. Or maybe for whatever reason, at a point in time, you may have made choices that weren't in your best interest. Okay, acknowledge that. Own it and move on. Once you're able to do this, then you lessen your burden and you're then ready to enter the last step. The last step in this process for many is the most difficult. The last step is acceptance. Now that you have asked yourself the hard questions, answered with the truth, 
acknowledge that things were, it's time to accept all of that as part of you and move forward. Some of us go through our entire lives in denial only to find out later in life that the things that have been, we've been in denial about were actually hindering blocks that kept us from living our lives to our full potential. Listen, that's not what you want in life. You want a life that's fulfilling and purposeful. However, in order to have this, we have to learn that everything in our lives are interrelated. Since we now know this, then it's time to put these things in perspective and move on. Many of us spend too much time beating ourselves up for the what ifs and the maybes. When in fact, if we learn to ask the hard questions, love ourselves enough to give ourselves the honest answers, acknowledge that our life is what it is and accept it all, then we would all be on our path to wholeness. So in closing, if you get nothing else from this model, just know that you're worthy and you deserve the best chance at success. With that, I'm saying bye for now and visit me on my website at www.lionsvisionproductions.com. Have a blessed day.